Hey guys, and today we're going to be creating an aquascape. If you guys haven't checked out my other videos, you guys should definitely check it out. But anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to be getting some sand, and I'm going to end up cleaning it. I'm going to take you guys a quick step on that. But if you guys haven't seen my other video videos, I've already done this a few times. I've shown you guys how to clean the sand substrate and all that stuff. All the good stuff, right? I'm also doing a bunch of breeding videos on fish and stuff like that that you guys should definitely check out. I also am doing uh, up daily update breeding pleco, um, breeding super red plecos for profit. You guys definitely should check that out, man. It really helps. I mean, I take you guys literally for the for the whole row, the whole shebang for over a month, and you guys should definitely check it out because you guys go with me without doing any of the work and just see what I do. Anyway, I hope you guys like the video. If you guys do, definitely smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started on today's video. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing a new aquascape for this. So I changed the substrate, I don't know if you guys can really tell. I used to have black substrate, and I moved the black sand from there to here. I need to fix that over there because I have the power head film. Anyway, so in here we're going to be moving all the stuff we had back in here. As you can tell, there's no fish in here. So all the fish is here and in here. But I think I'm going to take advantage of this time and actually not put them all in the same place where they were. As in the tetras, I think I'm going to move the tetras and place them in here. But I want the super red pleco to stay in here. So, and the coolie loaches. Yeah, the coolie loaches and the other clown, I think it's a clown pleco. I do want them to... come with me so what we're gonna do here is put my hand in the bag see if I can grab my super red again this is bred by me guys I bred him came out of my breeding pair place him in there now this can go right here into this tank like so and let that get acclimated anyway we're gonna be filling this tank up back with water and all that and I'm gonna take you guys for the progress process and I think I'm gonna be placing this because it matches the sand yeah you know what I am gonna do that but first and foremost I want to put back my bamboo my bamboo has been doing great in here it really has honestly like it's even growing stumps. Look at that. So what we're gonna do is place him back to where he was, which was like so. Careful about damaging the leaves. Okay. That's fine. Actually, that's not straight. I want it straight. Next, what we're gonna do is actually put the rocks in. No, actually. Next, we're gonna do is put the filter in. My little mini filter here. Let's rinse this out real quick in the old fish tank water. That's done. Let's just clap this bad boy back in. See if I can reach him. Anyway, I'll do that after. But 
what we're gonna do is start filling it up with the uh, two really colorful fake plants. Now I'm really debating on putting back these rocks or not. These are gonna go in later anyway, because I don't wanna put too much in there. I'm gonna be placing this pineapple in there though, for sure. If I can get some scissors. Or something to cut this. I'll be right back for one second. So we're going to be placing this in the middle, like so. And that's pretty much all I'm going to put in this tank. Uh, let's take you in for a closer look. So that's what it looks like now, right? Now let's wait till we I put the water in, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Anyway, so um, as you can tell, I filled it up with water already. We're gonna turn on this bad boy. No. Well, that should have worked. Hmm. Did I unplug it? No, I didn't unplug it. Yeah, there's power. I just don't understand what's going on. Hmm. Anyway, so now that it's finally done, we, I, um, I just turned on the filter. Let's plug, I put in the heat back in. Let's drop in these plants. I put Anubius on rocks here. These are all live, by the way. Uh, I did a DIY on how I did this. If you guys want to learn or even just curious, you guys should definitely check that out. I'm going to be dropping these guys in. There's no fish in there yet, so I'm not worried about it hitting a fish. I'm going to rearrange it right now. Let's add some prime into there. Let's 
Um, what else? I'm gonna fix that sand that's down there. Let me see, one second. Um, get. in the middle, like I said. Clamp standing up. And then do the set. Get the leaf. And we do have moss and some assassin snails. So we're gonna just pop in the moss. bottom over there and as for our fish we're gonna get them acclimated by one second using my handy dandy clips and we're gonna leave them get acclimated in there like that and I'll show you guys the final result in a few seconds it's still a little cloudy because of the water, but I'll show you guys the result in a few seconds. I want to thank you guys for watching definitely smash that like button subscribe to see more videos like this comment any questions you guys have below and i'll see you guys on the next one